Thank you, thank you, LJ, and um, a good evening, I guess I should say, and Ambassador Lauber, Geneva is the place to be. Um, wonderful to see a full room as we, uh, as we start to wrap this up. Uh, the time has come, I would say somewhat unfortunately, to bring, uh, to bring this summit to a close. And I want to, of course, thank all of you that have made this possible. Of course, so grateful to the Swiss, the Swiss government for co-convening uh, this event with ITU. And of course, a huge thanks to our UN partners, over 40 partners strong. Uh, thank you uh, as well. Thanks, of course, to our sponsors, our speakers, and you, the participants here uh, physically and also joining us virtually. I think you have helped us to take another step forward towards building an inclusive, a safe, and responsible AI. Thousands came to Geneva. Thousands joined us online, and of course, that includes our robots. I hope you got to meet and engage with, uh, with the robots. I would say engagement more than numbers really tells the story of what we have experienced over the last two days. It builds on a wide range of perspectives, ideas at different stages of maturity, but I think it's fair to say there's, there's certainly one thing in common. That would be a commitment to finding practical solutions together, in particular when it comes to global AI governance frameworks. So let me, let me share some of them with you. We have heard, as we just heard in, uh, in the great panel that Jennifer moderated, we have heard calls for new bodies uh, modeled on existing ones like CERN, like IAEA, like IPCC, uh, IPCC uh, as well as proposals to empower existing organizations. We had conversations on things like how a registry of new or anticipated AI applications might work. We also heard calls for a global observatory, how an AI observatory could look. And I think we have some great ideas to start to think about and, and move forward. So where do we go from here? And picking up on, uh, on some of Gary and Wendell's uh, comments, Jennifer, in your session, it's about making the right choice, right? We have to make the right choice. And I think it's really, it's time, it's time for us to roll up our sleeves and we need to analyze what's feasible, what's already available, and of course, what can be done. And that's, that's what you've called on us to do. Um, and, and I think it, it puts us on, on a path. You mentioned that, Jennifer, we need to have this, this path. So it really puts us on a path to be able to create a roadmap for the short term, for the medium term, and also, of course, for the, lo the long term. So the UN group on AI, we have this interagency group, I won't get into acronyms. Uh, it's a group uh, led by ITU, by UNESCO, and it's, it's geared up, ready, and charged to help move this dialogue and conversation forward. Uh, but of course, the, the, the work doesn't stop here. I think it's fair to say that we're, we're really just getting started and that we must continue to push inclusive dialogue, inclusive dialogue. We've heard that from so many on AI governance. Uh, we need to engage with stakeholders to develop these ideas further. From the ITU perspective, of course, we will continue to do our part. We will continue to focus on AI standards development, policy assistance. We will also be integrating AI capacity support into our digital transformation offerings, uh, together with partners like UNDP and others, especially in countries with low technological capabilities. This is another thing, um, even Ambassador Lauber mentioned that as well, we have to focus on that, piece, on that piece. We will also be complementing UNESCO's efforts on AI readiness by doing sectoral deep dives. 
We will uh, advance, as you heard yesterday, universal health through our new initiative with WHO and WIPO on AI and health. And of course, we will support responsible AI development and deployment at the country level, and we will work to drive strong collaboration with other parts of, of the UN. And Gary and, and Wendell, again, hearing you well, we have an incredible opportunity as a UN system to pull together and help to support this process. So ladies and gentlemen, yesterday we kicked off with an opening uh, message from the UN Secretary General uh, who made a strong call and he urged us to continue to explore the practical applications of AI to advance the sustainable development goals, that normative framework, Ambassador Lauber, that you just mentioned. Uh, and I think that, that what we saw over the past two days, I think it, it, it brings us a lot of hope. And I guess we wouldn't be here if we didn't have hope. Uh, and I'm an optimist by, by nature, and I think it really, it does give us a lot of hope. We saw how robots can go into situations that might be too dangerous for humans. Uh, we saw them bring comfort and support and interact with us and also with each other on a whole new level. We had the world's first robot press conference and diplomatic meet and greet. We saw how AI can help farmers to adapt to climate change. We saw how AI can transform and tailor education. We saw how AI can unleash a whole new wave of personalized healthcare and how AI can help us to use outer space peacefully over the long term and for the benefit of all. I think that's where the opportunities lie. They're tremendous, and each and every one of those SDGs can benefit. That's one of the scenarios that I described yesterday, and I think, Wendell, you pitched it a different way, but it was, it was obviously very complementary to what I laid out yesterday, and that's the scenario where AI lives up to its promise and where we manage to put the right guardrails in place. That was the future I chose, and most of you, I think, if I heard you, said you were with me. It's now time for collaboration, it's time for co-creation. It's time for stakeholders and disciplines, and Gary, that includes scientists, because this is the AI moment. This is our moment. Let's put human values first. Let's stay true to our core UN values. And let's show the world, let's show the world what an inclusive, a safe, and a responsible AI can do for humanity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. As ever. Amazing.